Two and five and negative two and three. What is step number one? Number one, you find the slope. Go ahead. Where do you find the slope? Find those two points. Put your x in your y. Okay, so you find. Oh, you define the slope. I know how to find the slope, and you know how to find the slope. So you do that now. Sean, find the slope of that first one. Find the slope, and you just. Hey, um, I, I won't um bring up the obvious part, but if you guys shoot the mouse up and I'm recording it, it doesn't come up. So why don't you guys, if you're gonna you know, shoot your mouth up, why don't you think about what's being recorded? You were all asked to find the slope. We were not asked to decide, let's go to prison yard and see how tough we all are in the 10th grade math box. So, once you've all established that you are all tough guys, have you finished on the slope? Yes, sir. Have you found the slope? Okay, now you are not allowed to be a tough guy. Have you found the slope? Okay, where is the slope? You are not allowed to be a tough guy either. Okay, only if you found the slope can you be captain of this prison yard. So, until that time, okay, shush. I'm assuming you all found n equals one half, but they all take any more time. Sean, did you find one half the slope? No. So you did. Um, you found the slope. Okay. Let's just do this one at a time, right? Okay, so you find the slope? Yes. Okay. So first step one is finding the m. Step two, you have to find d. Alright? So in step two, first thing to do is write down slope intercept form, which is y is seven plus d. And we're just gonna we'll work off that form. Okay? I'm just showing that it may take more steps in this way, but I find it's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's not much really I don't say thinking, but it's not really worried about that thing. Now we're gonna pick one of the order pairs. Sean got to pick last time because he was captain of the prison yard. Safe one, we'll let you be the tough guy this time. Would you like to use the first set of order pairs or the second order set of order pairs? The second. Okay. And it doesn't matter which set of order pairs you use, say, one. But I'm going to pick the first one because it's all positive. Negative numbers tend to screw me up. Now, you didn't know that, so I, I won't make fun of you this time. But remember, it doesn't matter which ones you use, you guys tend to have trouble with negative numbers, like every single kid in this school. So, this is a, that's a, that's a uh, thing I just erased was an X. So it was X, so I'm going to put a 2. Got that? All right. Now, what am I going to put for the Y? I'm going to put the uh, five. I'm going to put a five because that's the Y of the range of that. The five equals. Now I have to put my value of n. The center value of n is. Where's my negative? It's just one half. If you want to work in decimals for this one, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay? So you have that so far. Yes. And this is a great video for you to watch tonight. To get bored. Mm -hmm. Um, you can go on YouTube and play. Mm -hmm. I'm a downloader. Mm -hmm. Mr. It's my name fell back. Mm -hmm. It's on score. It's not a great video. It's more than a Alright. It is mm -hmm. um what's what now I just saw for B. It's 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 John Morris fell back. Um, the one half times two is one, so that's a five equals one plus b. Are you okay with that? And you all really know the calculus. I'm not worried about using fraction. And Kathleen, how do I how do I undress that b? Minus a one. I'm left with a four four b. All right, so I have my B. Uh, 
I have my M. So that's the work to get the answer. But now I've got to give the equation. So what is the equation? Y equals what? Y equals 1x plus 4. Okay, 1 half x plus 4. Good. That, that's what I'm looking for. Y equals 1 half x plus 4. Now you got to check it. Check is annoying, but that's where you're going to find if you got it right or not. If you get it wrong, then you're going to go back and you're going to figure out where you made a mistake. So, how are you going to check this thing? Uh, go to the Go to y equals. Y equals. And put what in y equals? Y equals 1 half. 1 half x plus 4. 1 half x plus 4. And then you're going to look at the... And you're going to look at the table, not the graph. <laughs> I think it's, it is. It's, it's like a reading rainbow back there. Yeah. It's learning all those math, right? That's math. And you can look for those two sets of points. Those two sets of points should be on there. 